Check it out. He starts this off with a couple of chords to set up the lick. First is the D chord. He strums that three times. And then the A chord. The lick starts on the A string on this D note. With, and he starts it with a three note walk in. He picks the first note, hammers onto the E, and then picks a G. I like to pick that E, so whichever you like. And then he goes, so he picks the A, slides up to the blues note, slides back down, pulls off to the G, and then the, and then the E. And then he rolls up to the A, and then he does a half step hammer on here and then the E and the D. And then the last part is this. Okay, so he picks these two, he slides down to the G, pulls off to the open E, but then with the same finger, he jumps over to this E note, and then the open E. It's kind of tough to nail the slide, pull off, and then jump over to this E with the same finger. He does it in a real fluid motion. He's, he just effortlessly does it when he's playing real fast. But it's easier for me, a uh, mere mortal, to play it this way with my pinky, and then with the middle finger, and then pull off. And now my first finger is right there. I don't have to. I don't have to jump. <laughs> And uh, it works fine. Just as a quick note, uh, whenever I play this without the chords, just the lick by itself, I'll always use a four note walk in. This note, this B note. And that's because uh, it just gives you a little bit more time to prepare for the fast part that's coming up. And it sounds fine too. But when you play with the chords, you're definitely going to want to start on that D note because it just sounds so much better. Let's go ahead and play this slow together. One, two, three. <laughs> 